Hawaii's commercial fishing industry is asking local families to reconsider a fish that's fallen out of favor over the years. Our Annalisa Burgo shows us what's being done to reel in customers. Oh, oh. Most people know about ahi tuna here in Hawaii, but swordfish is actually a very big part of our fishing industry. So much so that the Hawaii Longline Association says its fleet provides about half the country's demand for swordfish, caught more than a thousand miles north of Hawaii. But while more than 80% of the fresh fish sold in Hawaii stays here, that's not the case for swordfish. It's kind of reversed. Most goes to the mainland instead of retained here locally. But so we're trying to change that, just bring awareness that their product is here. It's, it's really tasty. It's good for you. Swordfish season runs through May. Because demand locally is lower, you're likely to get a better deal. Swordfish goes for about five to eight dollars a pound at wholesale, while quality tuna can sell for double that. Local people just love to eat raw fish and, and poke and ahi, um, but swordfish is as good a quality fish as you can find in the ocean. With renewed focus on supporting local food producers, Hawaii's commercial fishermen urge consumers to choose locally sourced seafood over fish flown in, frozen from countries like the Philippines or Indonesia. And don't confuse it with its billfish cousin, the marlin. Swordfish has more oil content because it lives in colder waters and is easier to cook. Blue marlin or kajiki was frequently sold as swordfish in the past because we hear people say, old timers say, I don't like swordfish because it's dry. Well, you were overcooking marlin. If you try the local swordfish, you'll, you'll realize that it's an excellent fish for uh, grilling. Which is why demand is higher during Super Bowl weekend. So skip the wings and burgers and grill up some local swordfish this weekend. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.